guys, we have some massive leaks that are just going to change the game for Neo in the future. And this really gives you a good glimpse at what they're working on. And this, of course, pertains to NT 3.0 vehicles. It's been almost three years since NT 2.0 was announced. It's about time the NT 3.0 is about to get announced, maybe during Neo Day this year, which, and I'm gonna be going there. So these leaks pertain, of course, to the Neo ET9, the Maybach Killer, the car that's gonna be Neo's most expensive luxury saloon ever, costing over a million RMB. It's going to also be a Tesla Model S Plaid Killer. It's going to feature triple motors, three motors in the car. And this leak, and, and several leaks, all right, we're gonna go over them one by one. This leak shows that for the first time ever, Neo is going to go with a horizontal screen. Lots of Neo owners have been complaining here, a vertical screen on my Neo, not that pleasant for movie watching, movie movies, as especially movies with 21 by nine aspect ratio, it's about this thin, just, it's no bigger than your phone. But, you know, for Neo, I think the first step is actually to turn the screen 90 degrees, make it horizontal. Yep, that is actually me giving suggestions to new management back in November of last year. Now, I did film this entire interview, but Neo told me not to make it public, so I'm just giving you little snippets of it. So I did tell them, hey, it would be nice for horizontal screens, and it looks like it's going to happen. There aren't any games, right? In, in, in Tesla's, you got like a whole arcade. And of course, right now with Banyan 2.0.0, they added Game Center. What you can do, and this is uh, what I hope, uh, is a, a, maybe a speed limiter. And they also added a speed limiter as well when you don't trust the person driving. Awesome. This is something that I really liked in the Li Auto L9 is that on the back of the passenger seat, there was a foldable table. And that was just super, super uh, convenient for, you know, just office work or like, or just uh, eating something in the car. So that uh, foldable tables for the back seat. Actually, yes, uh, that's a good idea, right? And um, that's what we want to look into next year, especially. Uh... Yep, I think it's pretty safe to assume that foldable tables is coming to Neo's ET9 and NT3.0 cars, especially since their competitors right now, like Hi-Fi also has foldable tables. And also when talking to a lot of Neo sales reps in private, what they can improve on for the ES8, they said foldable tables is a must. So finally, a horizontal screen is going to be very, very nice. And also in this patent, what we've noticed is that it actually tilts a little bit up and down. Now the tilting isn't a feature, but more of a safety feature. In the event of a collision that the uh, screen will move to perhaps get out of the way and not do so much damage for the driver or the passenger. I thought that was very interesting. And then this next patent, which is absolutely insane, is the axle for the rear wheels of the ET9. And look at how complex the thing is. And of course, they've been working on this for a long time. They are finally bringing rear wheel steering to a Neo. Lots of new owners have been wanting this, especially some of the brand new NT 2.0 ES8 buyers. They've complained that the wheelbase is too long and doing U-turns is inconvenient and parking inconvenient because there's no rear wheel steering. Well, it's finally coming. And what's the most insane part about this is that the leaker said that this design features anti-brake lifting. So when you brake the car, usually the car uh, you know, jolts forward, the car, the back end of the car lifts up. This is supposed to help prevent that. And also anti-acceleration squatting. So when you accelerate, the car leans back. So it's also going to prevent that. And then there's also longitudinal adjustments to prevent the wheel from uh, the, the, the car from going up and down. And this improves comfort. And holy smokes, that is just absolutely insane. Combine that with air suspension and this car probably will have dual chamber air suspension as well like the ES8 has right now. If that is the case, then the ride quality will be like none other. So absolutely a Maybach killer. And then on top of that, what we can also expect from NT3.0 is the LiDAR system moving from the top of the car to inside the car. And we know this because 
during Shanghai's Auto Expo, Innovision, the the brand that Neo is invested in, and also makes all the lidars for Neo. They showcased a ET7 where the lidar is inside the windscreen. So that, of course, will imp improve aerodynamics and also improve the design. Some people don't like the little dragon head sticking out the top. Some other specs about the ET9, the dimensions were also leaked. So the length of the car, 5.28 meters long. The width of the car, 1.998 meters wide. The height of the car, 1.52 meters tall and the wheelbase of the car is going to be 3.25 meters for the wheelbase for comparison purposes the uh, Maybach has a wheelbase of 3.216 meters and the 7 series has a wheelbase of 3.215 meters so a very big long wheelbase car now this car is also going to feature because it's NT 2.0 uh, NVIDIA's Thor chips instead of the Orange chips. So these chips are going to be much, much uh, better processors. And the interior is going to be super, super posh, super, super luxurious, high end materials, and uh, just very, very Rolls Royce, uh, my back level comfort. And then some of the other very nice features. So the car will actually feature a brand new steer by wire system. And also, according to the leaks, uh, it will have the glass roof and also the rear windows will feature smart electrochromic glass where you can electronically adjust the darkness of it to allow more light to come in or less light to come in. And this is already available to choose on the EC7 and also the ET5T, which is absolutely amazing. According to the leaks, the rear seats will also be adjustable by up to 27 degrees with a very comfortable footrest. This is very, very impressive. Now, this, of course, will be Neo's best car ever. Will it sell a lot? Of course not, because it's going to be very, very expensive, only over a million RMB. But it is the best of the best, and it's going to push Neo's status to a next tier, next echelon. And it's actually going to help boost sales for other vehicles because it just overall boosts the brand image higher. Now, I am personally most excited about NT 3.0 and what kind of new software and technological innovation that NEO is going to push out that is going to revolutionize the industry once again. When NEO's LiDAR got introduced, it was the first mass LiDAR to be introduced in the car revolutionized and made everyone go for it and, and pretty much add lidars into the car i wonder what nt 3.0 is going to bring that pushes uh, evs in general to a next next level this is very exciting guys